Hello my beautiful friends, it's Amanda here and today we're going to be talking about the new Pirates of the Caribbean collection from Lorac Cosmetics. Lorac was kind enough to send over most of the collection to me ahead of the launch so that I could share it with you. This video is not sponsored, they're not paying me to make it, they're not telling me what to say, they just sent the stuff and now I'm showing it to you. This collection launches on Lorac's website on April 14th. I'm actually filming this video on the 14th, so by the time you see this video, it's already out on Lorac's website and it will be available at Ulta and Kohl's on April 16th. There is an eyeshadow palette, a cheek palette, and then six lip duos in this collection. And I have the eyeshadow and cheek palettes and two of the six lip duos, so Let's start with the eyeshadow palette first. That's the one that everybody is kind of talking about. So we'll talk about the eyeshadow palette first. The palette retails for $52. It has 18 shades and it also comes with a black eyeliner. This is the outer packaging. It has the Pirates of the Caribbean skull and crossbones on the front. And then it has a picture of the inside of the palette on the back. Here's the palette itself. It is quite thick, quite bulky. There is a nice large mirror inside here, and there is a little secret compartment on the side, if I can get it open. There's a little secret compartment over here, and when I first opened this palette, I was like, why is this so big? When you look inside, it's not like the eyeshadow pans are super deep or anything like that. Then I found this little compartment, an empty compartment. Hmm, what is this for? Okay guys, the cheek palette fits in here. I'm serious, I'll show you. So here's the cheek palette. It fits in this little compartment. How cool is that? I think that's so awesome. It's like a little treasure chest. I don't know, maybe I'm overly excited about this, but I thought that was so cool. I know the packaging is pretty big, pretty bulky, but if you have the cheek palette as well, then it fits inside and it does make this bigger packaging a lot more worth it, in my opinion, because it contains those face products as well. I am wearing some of these shadows on my eyes today, so if you stick around to the end of the video, you can see how I got this eye look. This is my first time using the palette, so I do not have a full review. I haven't worn it more than just the last hour or so, but on first application, I was really impressed with how these blended with the pigmentation. Of course, I haven't used every shade in the palette yet, but so far, I'm pretty impressed. I'm gonna go ahead and swatch the palette now. I'm going to do finger swatches and brush swatches. As always, I'm gonna use my e.l.f. flat eyeshadow brush for the brush swatches, and I'll use my Vera Mona color switch in between each shade to clean off my brush. When I show you the swatches on my arm, I'll start with the top row and I'll go left to right. Here we have the top row of the palette. On top are the finger swatches and below are the brush swatches. This first shade is called Ghostly. It's kind of a satin white. It's not really quite matte, but it's not very shimmery. Next is this really intense blue. It's called Starry Night. So pretty. If you like bright blues, you'll love this. Now we have a kind of toned down gold. This one's called Compass. I think it shows up a little bit better in person than on camera. This one's called Arg. What a ridiculous name for a shadow. <laughs> There's some pretty silly names in here. So this one is a deep bronzy brown. Next we have a duochrome. This one's called Black Pearl. And this is that really popular kind of blue-brown duochrome, kind of like MAC Club, or there's an Urban Decay one, I think it's called Lounge, kind of similar to that, very pretty. And the last one's called Yoho. It's kind of like a grayish, grayish silver, almost lavender. We're on to the middle row now. Again, finger swatches on top and brush swatches are below. This first shade is a very neutral brown matte called Bones. Next is a true silver, and this one's called Silver Mist. This is a really awesome rusty red. It's called Treasure. I was so tempted to use this today, but I restrained myself. It's so pretty. Another matte. This is a mauve shade, and it's called Tell No Tales. Then we have a pale kind of champagne white called Shiver Me. 
And lastly is a black with gold glitter called Cursed. This is the very last row on the palette. The first shade is a white matte shade. It's called Matty, like matey, but with the word matte. <laughs> like I said, there's some silly names, but I think it's fun. Next is the shade Lost at Sea. It's kind of like a blue silver. This is a gorgeous matte shade. It's called Pirate's Chest. Just a light, warm tan. Next is this green, which is even more beautiful in person, called Sea Haze. Then we have Menace, which is a super dark, deep dark, like, hunter green. And look, look at that freaking brush swatch. Are you kidding me? Look at that. It looks exactly like the finger swatch. I just, I can't even deal with it. The last shade is a gray called Silent Mary, and I think this has almost like a lavender tint to it. Very pretty shade. And I wanted to show you a swatch of the eyeliner because this palette does come with an eyeliner as well. The liner that comes in the palette is the already existing front of the line pro liner from Lorac in the shade black. That's the whole eyeshadow palette. I have to say I am really impressed with the quality of shadows in here. I know we have been seeing a trend for a while where limited edition or like special collection palettes just really aren't up to snuff quality wise. I do not think that's the case here. These shadows are very pigmented, very blendable. They're not quite the Lorac Pro palette shadows because those are super buttery, but they are really close. I am. I'm really impressed with these. I think the mattes are incredible. I like the shimmers as well. I think those apply better with the finger, but I think that's just kind of shimmer shadows in general are like that. Overall, I'm just really impressed with this palette. When pictures of this palette first started showing up online, I was just kind of like, eh, I don't know about it. I have to say this has a super interesting color selection. It's not just like, another one of those palettes that we see coming out all the time, which don't get me wrong, I love neutral palettes, I love warm palettes, orange eyeshadows, all that, I love it. But this is something different for sure. This has, I mean, you could get a million different looks out of this. What I'm wearing today is just kind of a very wearable, kind of cool, neutral, cool eye. You could get some really bright, dramatic looks. You could do green, blue, red, neutral, purple. It's just, I think they did a really good job of selecting the colors in here and not just putting out, you know, another neutral palette. You know I love neutral palettes just as much as the next girl, but I think they did something special here and I do think that it really fits with the whole Pirates of the Caribbean aesthetic. Let's talk about the cheek palette next. I already showed you the cool trick about how this fits into the palette. I had not seen that before, so... I'm still kind of hung up on how awesome it is. This palette retails for $30. It has six shades. Four of them are shimmery and two of them are matte. This is the outer packaging for the cheek palette. The front looks the same as the eyeshadow palette, but on the back there's no picture of the inside of the palette like the eyeshadow palette had. I really like the slim kind of compact nature of this palette. I kind of wish that the eyeshadow palette was the same way, but I do get the whole cool like hidden treasure aspect of it, but I really like this packaging. I prefer it. I'm sure that the symbols on the front have something to do with the movie. I don't know what that is yet, but I'm sure it's relevant. There is a nice big mirror in here and it folds over flat, which I love. I just find this so convenient to use. This has a super cool kind of starry galaxy print inside, which the eyeshadow palette also has. It's just more difficult for me to show that because the lid doesn't fold over, but on here you can tell it has this cool kind of starry night pattern. On the left hand side we see three light kind of highlighter shades. These are definitely geared more towards fair light skin. And then on the bottom down here there's a really shimmery deeper shade. 
This could be a blush topper for me. If you have deep skin, this could be a highlighter for you. And then in the middle, there's a matte blush, kind of like a melon, rosy melon color. Then on top is a bronzer. This does look very light. I haven't swatched it yet, but it does look, again, like it's gonna be geared more towards fair light skin tones. I'm gonna swatch these shades. I am going to go ahead and do brush swatches because obviously these are gonna be applied with a brush. I'm gonna use my fluffy blending brush from ColourPop and I'm just going to use my Vera Mona color switch in between each shade just like I did for the eyeshadow palette. Here is the cheek palette swatched. On top are the finger swatches and then below here I have the brush swatches. I know they don't really look that intense on camera. I applied these with a fluffy brush because I think that's most similar to what like a face brush would be like, but I really think that these look great even in the brush swatches. It's just kind of harder to tell on camera with this ring light shining on us, but I'm, I'm loving this palette. Let's start with the bright white highlighter. This one's called Fortune. Next, there's kind of like a pinky champagne called Destined. This gorgeous gold is called Star Reader. I really think that this could work on a lot of skin tones. I'd love to wear this on my eyes as well. I think this whole palette would be beautiful on the eyes. This is the bronzer shade. It's called Lost Soul. The blush, also a matte, is called Caribbean, Caribbean, however you want to say it. And this last shade is such a knockout. Camera is definitely not doing it justice. This one's called Bold Spirit. Again, I'm really impressed with the powders in this palette. I think they're highly pigmented. They can be built up easily so you can do something more sheer, just swiping with a brush, or you can use your fingers to build them up more. If you've worked with Lorac powders before, then you know they're very pigmented and that means that there's quite a bit of kick up when you dip into the pan. It's it's not a bad thing, it's just because the powders are so soft, they're so rich, that there's a lot of kick up, there can be a lot of fallout, but again, I don't think that's a bad thing. I think it's a good thing because it means the powders are super, super soft. Let's talk about the lip products. There are six different colors of lip duos. One side has a lipstick, the other side has a gloss, and they can be worn separately or combined. They're called the Mod Lip Cream Duos and they retail for $26 each. This is the outer packaging and it does have a little sticker on the bottom to show you the color. So the lipstick just pulls out of the end like this. It has a little clear tube. I don't think that this is particularly attractive packaging, but there you have it. And then the other side is a gloss, so you just twist like this and then the applicator comes out like that. So a little mirror on here. I don't know how useful a mirror the size is. Like I can kind of see my lips in there, but I don't know. I'm not crazy about the packaging on the lip products, just to be completely honest with you. Here are swatches of two of the lip duos. On this side, this really deep nude is called Barbossi. This is the lipstick and then it has like a bronzy gloss with it. And then on this side is the shade Trident. And this is more of like a yellowy peach with a peachy pink gloss. <laughs> the info says that these are semi sheer lipsticks, which I don't know about you, but those look pretty darn opaque to me. So before I get to the quick little tutorial using the eyeshadow palette, I just want to kind of round up everything for you. I think the lip products are probably my least favorite part of the collection. The product itself inside is fine. I'm just, I just don't really like the packaging. I'm not crazy about it. It's a little bulky. It's just not that attractive. It, they're just okay. I'm not crazy about them. The cheek palette is my favorite thing. I love the shades in here. I do think this is geared more towards light to medium skin tones, unfortunately. Overall, between the shades, the formula, the packaging, I just love this cheek palette. I think this is definitely the must have from the collection. However, I am pleasantly surprised by the eyeshadow palette itself. I really like the color selection. I'm surprised that I really like the color selection. I do think you can get a huge variety of looks. I'd love to do a little bit more 
kind of out there look with this palette. So if that's something you're interested in, please leave a comment and let me know. I'd really like to do like a crazy smoky green or blue or duochrome. You know, I just wanna get a little crazy and push this palette to the limits a little bit. But overall, I think this collection is really fun. I just, I like the way that they put this together. I love that they embraced the kind of campy quality of the movies with the sort of silly eyeshadow names. I think the packaging is really interesting. It's really beautiful. It's just something different from what we've been seeing and I love that. So now I'm going to show you a quick little eyeshadow tutorial and I also used one of the lip duos for this look. So if you want to see that, just keep watching. That wraps up today's video. I really wanna know what you guys think about this palette. Do you wanna see more looks with it? I absolutely would love to do that if it's something you're interested in. And as always, thank you so much for watching. I'll see you in my next video. Bye. Rock.com. Why can't I say it? Just say it. Okay, you got this. What's shining on my chin right here? Is that from this? I haven't. <laughs> it doesn't matter. They know. On top is a brine, a brinzer. Brinzer. It's the new trend taking over the makeup world. Swatchy, swatchy, swatchy. Swatchy, 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 swatch, swatch, swatch. Because they're so pigmented, there is quite a bit of kick up when you dig, dick into them. <laughs>